Uh, animate dead is not great if we don't have a- never mind, this is insane. This is what we want. This is literally it. This is the nuts. We can coin out the shadowed spirit turn two, and then if it dies, we play animate dead, and then we can play bone caller, or we can get another three drop or something. This is- this is the nuts. With the coin, this is it. Okay. Soldier is fine. Soldier is more than fine. A second needle? I don't hate it. In fact, I do like the second needle if we can draw more um, shadow spells. Thrive in the shadows. Very good with this. Uh, if we can draw that in the mid to late game even. Coining out the shadowed spirit. I mean... And then haunting nightmare afterwards. Maybe we go haunting nightmare. I'm debating if I should- I mean, I'm coining something out. That is literally 100% guaranteed. But would I rather get damage or fight for board? I think actually fighting for board is better in this particular situation. I really do. Because, like, here's the thing, right? If I just do damage and I don't regain the board in any way, I feel like it kind of falls flat a little bit. Because then we run out of steam. Whereas we can do damage whenever, but if we can fight for board and not lose to the early tempo of a paladin, like, that's the thing that's really gonna make or break us. Uh, really? It's not too heavy. Okay. They could force me to trade into the 1-1 myself. Fair enough. Something follows. What does it go on? It goes on the animate dead. That is probably the best thing it could have gone on. So I'm gonna go boom, animate dead, and just get it back. And then it's going to kill off two things. Uh, we can play the Bone Caller next turn. And then a Spirit Hero Power. Or, like, Thrive in the Shadows. That would be better. Um, but yeah, the Bone Caller to protect my other four drop minions is really, really strong here. And then it'll summon another 4-3, which is quite powerful as well. I like the stack a lot. It's actually proven to be very good. Just things just stack on top of each other. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I mean, luckily, I can still kill off the 4-3. Yeah, they're gonna trade. That makes sense. Well, this is like the thing I was worried about. Hit here. It goes on you? Oh my gosh, you're hitting the nuts. This is the nuts! Genuinely. Like, I, I was just saying that to be kind of funny, but that is the nuts. That was... Those are the two things I needed to hit. Vindicator, gonna give their thing plus three, plus three to Mind Shield. They're also kind of hitting the nuts right now. Unless they don't get it, in which case, great. But if they do hit the plus three, plus three, which I, I'm assuming they're gonna hit. Our story, tragic. Our redemption oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh. Wait, that's kind of troll, actually. No, that's, that's kind of not the greatest. I mean, it's not bad. But it's not great either. You're just gonna go face, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, what the heck, dude? Sure, by all means. Uh, this goes here, and then we're gonna play two shadow spells. We'll see what this goes on. Goes on the th Jeez Louise, we're both hitting the absolute nuts right now. Um, another Thrive or a Mind Shear? No, we'll take another Thrive. We're gonna play that to kill it, and then we're gonna play another one of these. We'll take uh, Mind Shear for extra damage. And going into next turn, we'll play the, the second Needle. And now we're trying to focus on doing damage. I think focusing on damage now is better. I don't know, I think the Thrive in the Shadows to get the extra card was better. And I think I need damage, not draw. If I spend time getting draw, I just, I don't think it's going to stack up well enough, you know? I don't know if I'm explaining that correctly, but hopefully you understand what I'm trying to say. Another Light Ray. They're gonna get the Countess next turn. No, not the Lawyer. Not the Lawyer. Animate dead. I mean, I could just play three things this turn and trade in a little bit and save my minions. Then they play the Countess. Deal two damage to this. I can hit that once. Animate dead's not bad. Void Shard. This goes... Here, animate dead, and then this goes here to deal three more damage, and then we'll play both of these next turn. They get to play the Countess this turn, and then they get to play a bunch of legendary cards, but the direct damage is there. If they don't get good charge, I could win 
Oh, man. Maybe I should have gone more face. I could have maybe gone more face and set up lethal next turn, but then I would have left something alive. Like, I needed to kill the taunt minions. No, I think I played about the way that I was supposed to. Something follows. Hit, hit. Hero power. This forces them to find lethal this next turn. I didn't have a way of killing off my own 4-3. If I could have killed off my own 4-3 with something, like hit it and then play the new one mana spell, maybe. Hopefully they don't get a ton of healing either. That would also be kind of bad. But yeah, now we just have to wait and hope that they don't find an extra 14 damage out of nothing. Trying to build a taunt warrior. I'm going to try to get cold fusion technology. Um, what? Maybe find the meaning of life too. Oh, I think I think building a, a, a competitive control warrior deck is more pow is is harder to do than finding the cure for cancer or creating cold fusion technology. Uh, I I think control warrior is actually impossible, whereas those two other things are theoretically possible. No way you found it. They're off by a little bit. They are off by a tiny, tiny little bit, right? Yeah, they're off by two. Thank God. Oh, that was almost really bad. Oh, wait. Okay. <laughs> I was genuinely so worried that they were going to get it. I saw Alec here and the sword. There was no way. No. Let's just kill him with that. That was a good top deck. Good game. Thank goodness we won. Uh, I like this hand. Turn two, it probably doesn't die. Turn three, we pump it up, hit him for seven. Turn four, we get this. We don't really need Zyrella that early. A needle turn one is pretty good. I like this. This is this is not bad. This is a pretty good opener. Because this is, at worst case, three damage extra to the opponent. Okay. So now I'm trying to think if it's better to play this or this turn three. I think it'll be better to play another minion turn three, no? I think another minion turn three is probably better to just apply pressure. And I would rather have this resummoned than this if I play the bone caller. So I'm pretty sure I want to play you. And just go face here. I don't think cathedral works for me. We're gonna go boom. And then we do nothing. Then we're going to have both of these things die and play this. Because I think they, yeah, 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 yeah. They're going to trade into something. They're going to trade into the 4-3, I would assume. Right? They trade into that. Then I hit with the 5. And then I resummon both of them using this. Pretty genius if I do say so myself. Schmack, it dies, resummon both. I'm gonna take seven damage, but it doesn't really matter. We get both of them back because they died, and that's why we didn't play anything. Next turn, we can go Cathedral and then like Thrive, and then maybe a, a, an Animate Dead or something. If we can, if we can get that, and then we can coin it out. I don't really know exactly what I want to do yet, but this is this is good. This is an interesting position. Okay, they're just trading in. They're probably gonna wipe my board. Blood boil? The 3-3 three, three doesn't die, but that's okay. We don't get to actually hit with the 5-1, which is a bad problem, isn't it? We get undying allies. Uh, okay. We can go... Mmm, undying this, coin this, pump this up, hit. Let's go, let's go this first and see what we draw. Maybe we don't want to coin anything out. We get another needle. It's not great. I don't think I want to go undying allies on the zombie. I think I'd rather try to do that on a shadowed spirit possibly. Because I think the shadowed spirit's just gonna be way better. So I think we're going to go coin to put an extra mini now on the board into this. And then that's gonna be the turn. We can we can play this later on again to try to get the shadowed spirit. Okay, school teacher doesn't really matter to me. It really doesn't do too much. Cause like, even if they get what what one mana spell will wipe my board here? Like I can think of some that'll like deal three and then deal one. 
So like that could work. And it would kill one minion. Pick me, pick me. Horn of Winter. Okay, they get three mana, which again doesn't really do too much. I oh fudge. Okay, that's really good actually. That is very good. They're gonna kill off both of these. Luckily, I can play Thrive in the Shadows and kill off the two one HP minions. Which is not bad, and we can play like Bone Collar, so this is fine. I'll take Animate Dead. I think that works. I want to play Bone Collar though. We'll take Animate Dead because it'll resummon something good. I guess Mind Shear for potentially some direct damage could be not bad. But let's go Animate Dead to get some extra minions soon. And then we're just going to go boop, and then we're going to hit him in the face for four. Uh, it's going to hit the Bone Caller. It hits the 4 3, so at least they take some damage. I lose a Rotting Thing, Mabob. That's a bit unfortunate. Let's draw two cards first and see what we can expect. Draw, hit, draw, hit. Undying allies is not great when we have nothing in my hand. Amulet, or not amulet. Animate dead is fine. And then just hit face, I guess. It's the 5-5. Five five. They take some damage. Hit him in the face. Uh, hit him in the face again. Just hope they don't have too much healing. I mean, we have several shadow spells with the needle. So we do have some burst along with a mind shear. So I do think that there's a world where maybe we can, in fact, finish him off. It could also be like a soul stealer to eat everything, in which case that's kind of bad. Syndragosa? I hope the thing that resummons is the zombie. If it's the zombie, we're chilling. Oh, uh, well, that's not bad, actually. Because that dies when the 4 5 hits here. And it lives, right? Like, this this, this lives. You can rush into that. Can you kill it, too? You're going to double construction quarter here? That is nuts. That is nuts. Do I win? Hold up. 4 5 Six, seven, eight, nine. No, yeah, that's lethal. Does one. Then we play Needle. And then we play Undying. Undying Ping. Not bad. Um, okay. We're not going to keep any of these cards. I'm trying to think maybe Animate Dead could be nice if we draw an undead card. Uh, I'll keep it. Oh, it's so greedy. I mean, if I'm going to keep that, I might as well have kept the other thing too, right? Oh, I was so greedy. I shouldn't have kept that. Okay, so we're both going the same deck, I would assume. Although probably different builds of the same deck. And... What the heck? Hello? Oh no. Oh no, they're going to deal 2 damage and then deal 3 damage to my face and summon a 3-3 three, three all at the same time, like a madman. Or that too, I guess. Wait, maybe I'm greedy. Maybe I should take out like Grave Digging and some of these other cards and take out the, the Shadow Cloth Needle. I mean, I don't know. If I play this now, this just feels so inefficient. I'll play it though. I don't want to, but it's it's board wipe if we're able to deal with these things in not too long from now. It'll be fine. I was a little bit greedy, I'll admit. Taking the, um... Wow, okay. I need to take out Grave Digging and put in more early game cards, because this is not good. I will play you into this, maybe? And just start going face, I guess? Boom, boom. I don't even know if this is correct. <laughs> Anisa is going to be worth buying if you don't play undead decks. Uh, yeah, I think maybe. I think there are some interesting cards in there. Like Evolve Shaman definitely got a lot of help, which is very, very good for them. We're able to kill up a couple of things next turn. Even if this dies, like we can go... Oh, yuck. We can go Thrive. We can go Cathedral. We can ping something. I don't mind it. Oh, the Corporal? Come on. Come on! Another Cathedral? How much damage am I going to be taking here? I'm be taking a lot, aren't I? If I go hit here, I can play this Coin Animate Dead. 
and then it'll kill off the five, and then this will resummon something. I know that sadly it dies, but we have to play the Shadow Spell to kill the five one, or we're gonna get overrun. It's just the way that it has to be. This is not good. Yeah, I do think that having some extra one drops like the Foul Egg and whatnot will be better than running Grave Digging. I don't think we need the High Cultist either. I think that they're just greedy cards that don't really add that much at all. But maybe. Like, what are they running in their deck? I mean, I could take out Bran. Bran's a little bit greedy for sure. But, I don't know. It's an awkward position to be in for sure. Horseman seems like a lot of fun, but I doubt it'll get played much. There's silence and transform to just ruin the combos. Yeah, exactly. You're going to play the horseman later? No, I'll probably play it tomorrow, but I'm going to be playing more like narrow decks right now, like Shadow Priest. I just played Sindragosa in the Blood Death Knight. I'm probably going to be playing a Beast Hunter with the new big card along with maybe something else. Okay, it's fine. I'll go face with everything here, and I'll play Thrive in the Shadows to kill off all of these things. Doesn't really matter. I think I can outrace them. Thrive. Animate dead. Seems decent, but I think I'll take another Thrive. So I can play the Cathedral and start drawing cards and going face with all of these. Let's go boom and just go face with all of these. We get a Void Shard, which is pretty good. I don't think they can quite kill me yet. You know what? Maybe my version's better. Maybe the Foul Egg wasn't very good after all. And the Shadow Cloth Needle kinda came in clutch. But I do think taking out High Cultist is maybe okay, because it does seem like a very greedy card. But then again, there are probably gonna be matchups that are slower, where High Cultist is gonna be nuts. Like, let's just say they take this turn to kill off all of these things, and I had High Cultist, and I go, boop, High Cultist. Like, they'd lose their minds. They're gonna take damage if they do that. Can we try Druid? I do have a weird OTK Druid with the Beast that I want to try in the not-too-distant future. Uh, but it's really bad. We might play it later today, though, depending on if I win or I'm having fun and want to keep going. A couple of things. There are a couple of variables, but... Is it worth spending 2k gold on the mini set over 20 packs? Pretty much every time, yeah. Like, the only thing I would say maybe you don't, like, only reason why I would argue not getting the mini set would be saving gold for the next expansion when there's a huge rotation, because that's going to change absolutely everything, everything. Like, that's going to change, uh, like, the entire meta. Uh, we're going to keep none of these. Well, maybe we keep the Cathedral. I'm thinking about keeping the Cathedral because it is a good card just across the board. Uh, but we already have a lot of other three drops that we probably want to find. I think trying to find Tempo in this particular situation is better. Okay, Rotting Necromancer. I mean, we could play it turn four. We could try to find something if we don't have a lot of playable cards. The Needle. I'll play the Needle turn one. Needle turn one's not bad. I mean, it sets up for some other stuff. If they're going an unholy deck, this is going to be exceptional. <laughs> okay, they're going Frost. They're probably going to run Syndragosa. God, this hand is awful. We'll ping. Nothing really to play. Hopefully, we can find a three drop. I mean, the zombie, nightmare, and shadowed spirit. At this point, I'd even take a top decked cathedral. It would be fine. Bone Caller. Ugh. Uh, we'll do some damage. We'll just push a little bit more. We can go, uh, the Rotting next turn. So they don't have a lot of healing in their deck. Since they're going Frost, they could be going thing or double blood still, uh, to run Syndragosa. And they could have some healing, but I don't think they'll have that many. I don't really want to go Undying on the Rotting Necromancer. Let's just play it and see what's at the bottom. We get a Shadowed Spirit. That's basically exactly what we wanted. We do five damage to them. Um, and then next turn we can go Undying into the 4-3 into this. Or we can just Hero Power and save the Thrive in Shadows and just try to do as much damage as possible. Which I think might just be better. Coin plays the Noggling, kills it. Budge with Obliterate? No, actually Obliterate's fine. Because they're taking damage. So even though they're getting another 4-5, I don't think that matters because they're taking so much damage here. 4 mana for 5 damage and a solid body is really good. Boom. This. 
ping. Um, next turn, it can be this hero power. And with this being a guaranteed six damage, unless they heal, we win the game next turn. Again, they could heal, but if they don't heal, we win. Icy touch? Ooh. No, that's good for them. That that keeps them alive for, for sure. Um. Okay. I think I still just go Void Shard to heal up to make sure I don't die. Um, just some sort of burst. And then just ping him with hero power, I guess. Boom, boom. And then... I guess I could have pinged my own minion. That would have been smarter, actually. Why didn't I do that? Literally pinging my own minion gets him down to 2 HP or 3 HP. And then I can kill my own minion again. Oh no. This is a disaster. This is actually a disaster. They're gonna heal up a lot. I mean, like I was saying, they don't have that much healing, so there is a world where it won't matter. Oh, okay, weird. A little a little peculiar, to be honest. That your horn of wintering there, like that. But like the okay, so the heal up to nine, we're doing three. Oh man. I mean, maybe we can ping the 5-6? No way. Yeah, okay, you hit face with that. It's fine. Um, no, yeah, I think we still win, right? I'm pretty sure we still win. That goes there. They heal 5. We have 4 plus ping. Oh, no, we don't have 4 plus ping. We have to find... Um... Cool. Then this goes here. Then this goes here. And then this goes here. Let's kill off my own minion for maximum burst damage. Not bad. Not bad. Three drop, four drop makes sense. Take out Zyrella, look for a two. We get a void shard, which is fine. You know, probably should take out a void shard now that I think about it. I, I don't know why I took out a grave digging. The card draw is super helpful. I think taking out a void shard was just better because like... Yeah, it's four damage, but this is one mana for three damage. Like we just, well, you can't see it. It's a no card, but it, it's, the, you get the point. It's one mana for three damage. It's just insanely good. We play you, we're gonna play you next turn and then you, and then probably you hero power. Oh man, are you gonna freeze my five five? Oh, you're not gonna freeze my five five. Interesting. Let's go with the deal three and then just hit him in the face. We're gonna play you next turn, and then the following turn will probably be Nightmare Hero Power. You freeze this, right? You have to freeze it. Uh, it would be crazy for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess maybe I Void Shard, but I guess Void Shard at the end of the game is a lot of damage as well. Getting myself a 5 5 to attack again. Pretty good. We can play you ping. Then you can play like this and this. Then you can play this, this. It depends on how much HP they have left. Oh my god. That's pretty rude. I think I go Cathedral over the Haunting Nightmare to pump up the 2-5. Unless they do something to deal with it right now. Oh boy. Oh, they didn't get anything. Oh, they didn't get a Frost? Let's draw a card then. That's another reason why I didn't, like, love the, um... That's another reason why I didn't love... Grave digging is because Thrive Shadow, Thrive Shadow, Cathedral is like draw three as well. It's just we have a lot of draw already, which I thought was decent. Stop freezing my minion! I needed to die! My god. Is there an instance that you ever need a specific spell? I mean, yeah, near the end of the game, looking for a Void Shard on turn eight. We can play that into Void Shard into Hero Power. Uh, we sometimes want to look for Animate Dead to try to resummon and get more combos. Look for undying allies specifically. That's so frustrating. Uh, we're not gonna play you. I think we actually just play the two minions here and don't attack. Cause I, I mean, even if they play um the one that, that the Deathborn, several minions still live. They could play like Flurry. Flurry would be problematic. Another solid alibi would be annoying for sure. 
killing that, fine. I don't care too much about that. Don't freeze the arcane bolt to kill that. They take three more damage. Looks like we're probably gonna have to play Void Shard and another Shadowed Spirit and they're just gonna retreat. Yeah, cool. 